There was a need for these lights on Avalon Street uh, brought up 10 years ago, actually, because DTE repossessed all of the residential street lights in Highland Park, Michigan. So all of our residential streets are dark. And Solidarity saw the need to bring uh, some light back to Highland Park. Highland Park is a neighborhood mostly comprised of senior citizens and low income. Uh, if you are in an area, an urban area like this, without street lights, it's very dark and it's unsafe. It's unsafe in several ways. First of all, it's hard to see people when you're going down a residential street. Second, it's unsafe because the traffic flow, uh, it, it makes it a hazard so far as accidents are concerned. So we have some areas of Highland Park that are so dark, you would miss seeing, you know, there's a bush or something in the way, you're gonna miss seeing that car coming. And I'm a walker, I love to walk, but there is no way I will walk at night on a street that doesn't have any street lights. I have a five-year-old granddaughter. There's no way I'm gonna let her play outside once it gets dark. And we have children in the neighborhood. We want it safe for them to enjoy, just like any other child. So yes, street lights here, lighting up Holland Park is super important. Bringing back a sense of hope to our city is super important. When there are no lights, people feel hopeless in the dark. We want to light it up again.